Thanks. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. As uh, the Austrian Ambassador, as President of the Council, has told you, uh, we had a briefing today from Ambassador Apakan as Chairman of the North Korea Sanctions Committee, uh, and he updated us on the excellent work which the Committee is doing. And the Council has also received, as um, Ambassador Meharting told you, uh, an interim report from the panel of experts that has been established to assist the Sanctions Committee. Uh, and that interim report uh, set out a work plan for the implementation of Security Council Resolution 1874 and included elements uh, such as uh, how the uh, panel of experts is going to support the committee in investigating uh, instances or suspected instances of uh, violations of that Security Council Resolution uh, and also, for example, guidelines to help member states um, ensure that they do not uh, assist financing of illicit uh, proliferation activities. Uh, and it's worth uh, remembering, of course, that uh, there has already been um, action uh, under 1874 that uh, the ship ANL Australia was uh, intercepted uh, carrying arms exports from North Korea in, um, in violation of uh, that Security Council resolution. Uh, and that uh, interception was a warning to uh, any countries that might be tempted to take part in illicit trade with North Korea. We're very pleased that so many countries um, have taken an active role in implementing Security Council Re Resolution 1874. Uh, it's a good indication of the international community's determination to try to counter proliferation. Thank you. Ambassador, yeah. uh, how would uh, you characterize the seriousness of the violations of the arms embargo and the bar ban on financial uh, transactions as described in the, in the panel of experts report? And is there any concrete action other than continuing work by the panel of experts and review by the sanctions committee that the uh, UK would be uh, backing at this point? Well, any, any uh, violation is serious. Uh, and uh, the whole purpose of the restrictions, of course, is to try to uh, uh, curtail the proliferation activities of, uh, of North Korea. Uh, what the panel of experts has to do with the committee is to uh, work mainly with member states to ensure that uh, the provisions of 1874 are enforced and that, for example, where uh, illicit uh, exports or cargoes are intercepted, uh, they are indeed um, seized and, and disposed of properly and that uh, all the information is investigated which indicates how those, how those exports took place, who was involved in trying to arrange them and, and uh, what their purpose and destination was. Can I ask on another topic, sir? Today the third committee is supposed to vote on a resolution about Iran and the UK is one of the sponsors. I was wondering, um, I mean, what's the significance of this resolution from your point of view, uh, considering it's the first one after the presidential elections there? Yeah. Well. I, we believe that in cases of uh, such egregious and uh, long-running and persistent and indeed worsening human rights violations, it's right for the uh, General Assembly to uh, express itself. Um, and uh, we hope that that is what will happen this afternoon. And clearly, in the light of what happened uh, after the elections and what continues to happen, uh, it's all, all the more important that the General Assembly should do that.